Bless up my beautiful people. Welcome back to JNN Newsroom. Yeah man, continue to like, share, comment and subscribe. Yeah man, turn on the bell you now. Don't forget to press like. Like in the video is automatically recommended by YouTube. So the video them can get to reach other people such as yourself. So like in the video man, road to 20k subscribers. Yeah man, we are begging for help with it. The 16. Okay, so been an idea, yeah, quick and fast, but regardless of that, we don't have to talk too long, pan. that way I give you some information and then we come back and we'll reason. Police seek help to identify body found inside Barrel in Portmore. The police are seeking the public's assistance in identifying the man whose body was found in a barrel along the Elsha Main Road in Portmore, St. Catherine on Thursday. The decomposed body was found in the swamp. The police were on patrol about 3.50 p.m. when a passerby alert them to the barrel. Senior Superintendent Christopher Phillips, commanding officer of the St. Catherine South Police Division, said the decomposed throat slash body where the feet and hands were bound. He said that the man appeared to have been in his 30s and was dressed in a blue jeans pants and shirtless. Janu, my viewers, the meme continues in Jamaica. Body after body, pile up. Yeah, man, man wounded during attempted robbery in St. Thomas. A man was wounded and now hospitalized after he was attacked and shot during an attempted robbery in St. Thomas on Friday morning. According to police report, the man was walking along the Spring Guard main road about 8 o'clock when he was accosted by a gunman. It is further reported that the gunman attempted to rob the man who ran. The gunman opened fire, hitting him in the leg. But attacker escaped. Well, we have to say, thank God, say, the brother not drop out because, you know, a bit of people are dead left, right, and center these days. Companies could pay 50% more for security service following marksman ruling. Companies that engage private security guards at businesses establishment will now have to pay almost 50% more for their services. This follow a Supreme Court ruling on September the 23rd in the matter of National Housing Trust various marksman limited. The court ruled that guards engaged by security companies to provide third-party service are employees and not independent contractors. The court decision is acceptable to all private security companies that engage security officers as independent contractors. Yeah, man, my so right now I have to fork out some more money and deal with the thing the right way. Yeah, man, my viewers, bless up to